Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley and today I saw something that is a little bit disturbing to me. And that was, I was in a courtroom and there was case after case being set for trial. And it was in misdemeanor court, it wasn't the biggest thing. Um, but driving while license suspended charges. So a lot of people, and I, I'm shocked by it, I actually said something to the judge um, and this was what I said to the judge. Um, judge, is there a lot of people that come to your trials for driving while license suspended? He kind of looked at me puzzled. And I said, well, judge, the reason I ask is back in the day, one of my very first trials was a driving while license suspended in misdemeanor court. It happened to be up in Broward County. And I remember looking back and I don't know, there had to be 30, 40 people in the courtroom. And a lot of them were prosecutors and, and defense attorneys and yeah, a couple of random people. And I was the only thing on the docket. And I was like, what are all these people here for? And I, I leaned over to a public defender who happened to be there and I go, hey, what's, what are all these people here for? They're like, uh, everyone wants to see how you're going to win a driving while license suspended charge. And I go, huh? And I go, yeah, no one ever wins them. And that's the truth. Nobody ever wins them. So I watched all these people today in court that were setting cases for trial and driving while license suspended. And they had some in the past and the judges saying, well, it's punishable by up to a year. And if you lose, and I'm thinking, this ain't the judge to go to trial in front of, in my mind. And I've never had a trial in front of that judge. I try to get stuff uh, handled uh, administratively, I guess is the best way to say it, meaning that uh, I, I try to try to work out things with the prosecutor, do diversions, whatever I can to get the case dismissed. So why is this important? Well, what are the elements? You can go on my website and you can look at the elements for driving while license suspended. So all they have to do, right, is the state attorney puts a police officer on the stand, right? And that person says, I saw Mr. Smith driving, right? And then they enter a business record, right? They enter a, a business record that says that the person's license is suspended and why it's been suspended. Um, and there is called the mailbox rule. And the, the gist of it is, is that DMV, they can get a letter, they can get a copy of the letter. And I think that's how a lot of prosecutors do it. They get a copy of the letter. It's part of the normal course of business, so it's admissible. And it says that on January 15th, you know, 2023, whatever, that the defendant received notice of cancellation of a suspension, right? And usually if it's a ticket, you get told that way, but also DMV sends you a letter, you know, that kind of thing. Hey, you didn't pay your ticket, your license will be suspended. And they don't just send one, they, they send a couple. So I'm sitting there going like, why are all these people, you know, setting it? Is some rule change? Because cop goes, I swear to tell the truth. I saw him driving. Here's the piece of paper. According to our records, his license is suspended. Now what? Well, I don't know what. So let's see, how do we handle that? So if I'm a clever defense attorney, right, there's the mailbox rule, which is presumed that it received there, unless there's testimony that contradicts that, right? So what I would do is I would put my client on the stand and go, I, I never received that letter. And then what's gonna happen, and I can tell you, because I've dealt with this so often, is now the prosecutor is gonna get to cross-examine my witness, right? And they're gonna say, and then one of the first questions is, is you, your address that you live at now is ABC Street, correct? Yes. At the time of this incident, your address was, you know, XYZ Street, right? Yep. And yeah, I didn't get the letter. Well, you didn't update your mailing. Now, listen, I can't presume to know what someone else's defense is, but I saw several cases being set for trial as the judge is saying, I actually saw one case where the guy had a, he'd already gone to trial on a case, 
on a first time DUI and a refusal. So that means he had to have been stopped before because he, he went on the refusal and he lost and he was still sitting in jail. And I think the, the, the attorney said he'd already been in custody 80, 80 days. And then the judge said, okay, well, he's, uh, he's gonna go on the DUI. And then the judge was like, you understand that, you know, you had a prior DUI, so this is a, a you know, outside of five, so you can, you can go to jail for a year if you lose. And then on the driving while license suspended, that's another year. And then someone else, another case, they were going to trial on a DWLS and I'm going, my God, like just get a valid driver's license and negotiate with the state or get some community service hours, like, and, and, and negotiate with the state. Like, why are you going to trial on a drug? Well, I, I, I have a right. Absolutely. You have a right, but don't you want to like, don't you want to bet on something a little bit more likely that you win something that has a higher likelihood or better chances of winning a driving while license suspended is not the case my goodness i've been practicing 19 years i'm like i'm not setting cases so on my case that i had set for trial back in the day this is like i don't know my goodness like 2005 or six um i knew that a mistake had been made i knew that the DMV hadn't sent out a letter. How did I know? Because we contacted them and no letter had ever gone out advising my client. So I was gonna put my client up and after we picked the jury, um, I went sidebar and I said, judge, I, this is where we're at. This, I'm just, you know, I'll, you know. And the judge goes, state? Well, judge, we're gonna handle it. Okay. Judge goes, okay, yeah, they can handle their case any way they wanna handle it. And uh, guess what happened about 30 minutes later? Um, they couldn't figure out how to handle it and they had to dismiss, you know, during the course of trial. That I was luck, I just got lucky. Like luck, that was luck. You know how hard it is to, I'm Officer Smith. I saw Mr. Jones driving, okay. You gave him a citation, yes. Okay, then the state introduces the business records or call someone from DMV. That's it, you lose. Going to jail for that? My goodness. Like, I, I know everybody has a right to a jury trial, but holy crap, you're gonna go to a, you're gonna go to jail for like, who knows, this is a tough judge. This is, this is a judge that was asking. So sir, you realize you can go to jail for a year on the DUI, you can, you could go to, uh, you can go to jail for a year and I can, not only can you go to jail on each, but I can do, run them consecutive. So in fact, you've already been sitting in there, sir, for, you know, 80 days. I can sentence you to another two years. Kind of read between the lines, folks. You know, he's going to, uh, you know, he's going to do something to you. Um, yeah, all judges have to read that, but my goodness, like, Where's the reasonable doubt? What are they gonna say that, uh, there's very limited arguments. Now, I'm almost tempted to go to trial on it. Um, go, go and watch the trial because I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's, maybe there's some really smart defense attorney that has some great argument that I can't even conceive of and I'd like to know. So, uh, hey, if you're a defense attorney, and you go to trial regularly on driving while license suspended, please do enlighten us because I don't know how to win them. Um, if someone's driving and their license was suspended, they knew. And even if it was raised in error, there's case law to my understanding that says you still can't win because if it was suspended in error, you have to, you have to, you know, go fix it. Anyway, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley. Be careful on driving while license suspended cases. Don't be so quick to go to trial. Ask your prosecutor, ask your, your defense attorney to see if you can negotiate out something. Get a driver's license if you can. If you don't have legal documents in the country, there are several states that you can you can get a, a driver's license from. But a lot of times, like let's say Florida, you can't get a license. A lot of a lot of prosecutors will give you like 15, 20 community service hours and, and, and get rid of the case or downgrade the charge. Anyway, I'm RP Foley. See ya.